Hello traders, it's Samurai Trader here. Welcome to session 96. How to day trade any market? The $1,000 a day challenge. With $1,000 a day is not enough, you simply increase your position size. In other words, trade more contracts or more lots. Now, what I teach in these sessions, you can apply to futures, forex, or the stock market, and even crypto if you're a crypto trader. Now, as always, I do need to pull up the disclaimer. You can pause the recording if you like and read the disclaimer. There is a risk in trading. Don't trade with money that you can't afford to lose. A very, very quick advertisement. Uh, if you haven't already downloaded The Truth About Day Trading, my ebook, the description link is below. Also, if you look below, you'll see me use a number of or refer to a spreadsheet, a number of spreadsheets. You can also download that Excel spreadsheet and input your own figures. In fact, I've done a little, I recorded a short video on how to actually use it. So if you go to the description link below, uh, put your details in, you'll be able to uh, download that. And just a very, very quick advertisement here, just on uh, my program. First of all, make sure you do subscribe to my channel so you can be kept uh, up to date. But for $197 traders, everything you see here, that is uh, all of my indicators, so there's, there's over 200 hours of online video instruction, there's 35 PowerPoints, there's, um, there's actually 17 uh, fantastic day trading strategies and scalping strategies. Mind you, you only need two uh, to trade. That's all you really need is just, uh, just a couple of strategies. And in fact, if you're a brand new trader, you start with just the trend trading strategies, which I'll discuss when I get to the uh, charts and all of my indicators that you see. So $197 plus I have a special going where uh, I run uh, a live trading room, but also run a coaching room where uh, twice a week, every Tuesday and th uh, Wednesday evening, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, you can log in where I'm explaining every aspect of my setups, how to day trade, money management, the psychology of trading. If you can't attend for live sessions, they are recorded. Uh, all for 100 included, I should say, for 197. Uh, and after the first month, if you go, wow, this is fantastic, which you will, you can drop me an email and sign up for my coaching ongoing. Now, on my website, it's $297, so don't forget the links in this um, PowerPoint. Oh, sorry, I should say <laughs> in the YouTube video below. And by the way, traders, my videos are all real and unedited. Okay, so if I make a mistake anywhere, you're going to have to forgive me. All right, let's get into this and let's get serious about this. Traders, I'm going to be very blunt with you what it really takes. In fact, I get um, negative statements or, or I should say thumbs down because I'm direct with a lot of the things I'll say in these videos because I'm going to tell you how it really is. Now, is earning $5,000 a week the reality or a genuine uh, reality? Absolutely. How do we achieve that? Just by trading 10 contracts at $100 a day. You go and bump that up to $300 a day. That's $3,000 a day. That is the reality of this business. The fact is, though, most traders will never get to this level. Um, because of poor discipline, uh, they don't have the right trading strategy, they're not trading the right market, uh, and a whole lot of other things that go with it. So I'm going, to, I'm going to show you how to do it correctly and how to trade correctly. Now some of you don't want my advice, you won't listen, and you wonder why you struggle. So please stay there whether or not you join me as a member. If you're a trader already making money, fantastic, but if you're struggling, you've got to listen to what I say because I'm going to really put you on the right path. Now, as far as $100 a day goes, by targeting $100 a day, once you go from the simulator, what it's doing is building both confidence and competence. From there, of course, uh, this is from Jason, made 4,200. Thanks to you, if I was down under, I'd buy your beer. You can then grow from there but you've got to start somewhere. Now, in today's coaching session, we're going to be looking at the NQ four tick, the four tick NQ. Now you can apply what I teach to any type of chart, whether it be Forex, so, uh, sorry, actually chart, I've already told you about the markets, um, to any type of chart, time-based chart, uh, Renko, Heikinashi, time-based chart, etc. 
I prefer Tick and Renko. Why? Because they just work really well together, but particularly Renko for a new trader. Look how smooth this is. In fact, if we just look at this now, which I was going to go back to and see if we have some time, um, this is the Russell right now. Now, this is a 3 1 Russell. And just there, we can see um, just there, I've got my trend line there. Um, and look at these moves. Now, you can see here, traders, uh, that. that the arrows and whatever that's my for members watching this that's my one two one and each one of these steps here you can see down is worth five dollars each step up is worth five dollars so on the Russell and you can apply this equally to the uh, Dow it's five dollars a tick now this is 21 uh, in the evening 21 23 in the evening uh, Central Standard time now here this is what we're after now if we just consider this and in a moment we are going to move on to some other really important stuff here but if we take this market how much do you really need to trade the Russell or the Dow well if you're going to have a 10 tick stop and you follow my rules of only a 2% risk you need two and a half thousand dollars okay why what's two percent of two and a half thousand it is fifty dollars now if we go for just $100 a day now what is $100 a day traders that's 20 ticks or 20 steps now what I want you to see here is once again let me pull this down so you can see here whoops I'm recording this let me I don't know if actually I can pull it down maybe no it's not going to allow me to pull it down correctly is this is um, Monday the 22nd of April I'm recording this and so this is a globe session this is totally live uh, right now this is not a replay and so what you can see here trade is the reality of picking up these trends how many ticks is in all oh, that must be 30 this must be 30 now to let you in a little secret I'm a scalper which means I'm generally on this market I'm after 8 to 10 ticks per trade okay I don't like to trail it doesn't suit my my style a lot of traders do in fact what you're seeing here is actually my scalping chart it's a fairly clean chart I've got my pivots on there okay I've got my trigger line here um, you can see the, the what I call the cloud my EMAs here and so after hours of a globe session, the market actually closes just give you a little bit of history here if you like um, if you if you're a brand new trader the market actually closes uh, at 4 p.m. Central Standard Time 5 p.m. Eastern that is the futures market it then reopens an hour later and this is what we call the globe session where you've got much lower volume but you can easily trade 10 contracts okay easily trade can tra can sorry 10 contracts particularly on this market and on the NQ um, and especially on the micros now if you don't have that two and a half thousand dollars to start with Okay, you can start on the micro with only 10% of that you see because they've got a micro contract okay now let me just show you one thing here now what it shows us here at two and a half thousand going for just $100 a day you have a potential within 19 weeks of earning your 10 grand a week and how this actually works you only start trading an additional contract every time you double your money so it's a very you're using the markets money a conservative approach now all of a sudden you say gee whiz I'm this is going great I've built my confidence and competence let's go for 150 a day now now that's 30 ticks a day look where you are in 12 weeks well actually 11 weeks you're up to basically your ten thousand dollars a week that is the true potential but unfortunately most traders won't won't approach this as a business they don't want to hear about it they want to get in get rich quick etc and they wonder why they struggle they're not willing to wait for this now we've got very mechanical rules on how we trade these and you'll see some in a moment I'm going to go through those with you but what I wanted to point out is if you've got a full-time job this is a fantastic market to trade as is the NQ as is the YM as is the ES as is oil as is got uh, well actually gold's more for a more experienced trader because it can be very very whippy okay it can be very kind but um, the yellow metal can be a bit challenging at times 
but let's get back to this uh, for a moment and it's this so in this particular date uh, day only uh, fired off three trades for three when it's all over and done with my target is $200 a day per contract when I'm on the four tick if I'm on the six or the eight tick I'm after 300 to 350 a day per contract why the difference well I've got to, to trade a four tick here if you're trading at 2% risk you only need four that you need four thousand dollars okay the higher the time frame you trade the greater the amount of funds you need because your stop losses are going to be larger okay so the higher the time frame the faster the market the higher the time frame we trade the larger stop loss okay so that's where there'll be a difference but that's beyond the scope of today's video now here for members watching this had a beautiful 2d and I used the 121 here to confirm the reversal had a 13b then out a beautiful t7 down here which is a double bottom off the current days open and yesterday's close and you can f see how it gave me great support with divergence thank you very much what I didn't take was this little um, uh, t25 here you had another one 34b and you had one over there now we're going to explore this for a few minutes in greater details uh, greater detail when we go to the charts because I want to sort of give you some tips and ideas on how I actually find these trades and I'm what I call a pattern based trader I'm looking for patterns in the market because they're easy this is not rocket science it's about taking the time getting the screen time and learning all about these for an example just while we're here why not take this trade well right below me see that black line there that's a from that's an EMA from a higher time frame okay and you'll see we quite often will bounce off that time and time again so this is a 200 EMA from my anchor chart one we bounce off it time and time again but the most important thing here is if I had have sold here I was selling straight down into support in fact some of your best divergence trades and reversals will actually be off these areas of support and resistance see over here can you see how we had a little bit of a bounce off that pivot we only had a one candle bounce there but your pivots are a, are a trading zone for support resistance now they're also very easy to learn how to trade once you understand the rules behind them but they become a self-fulfilling prophecy now what I want to quickly do is run through a realistic trading plan with you you see if you've got a compelling future uh, you'll find a way of doing something okay if you've got a big enough why okay you'll find the how I'm going to show you the how now first of all what if you don't have four thousand dollars that is to trade this market okay normally you'd need and here I'm trading five lots you'd need four thousand dollars now if you trade a larger account you want to lower your risk okay so I run at a maximum risk of one percent okay at uh, the older you get okay as they say there are old traders there are bold traders but there are no old bold traders which means you tend to I'm in my 60s you tend to become more conservative which is really uh, the, the way to go as you build your account but if you don't have four thousand dollars you can start here with four hundred dollars with that just a twenty dollar uh, um, uh, target you see the micro and I should have pointed this out if you're a brand new trader the micro is 10% of a big contract and so instead of being five dollars a tick it's 50 cents a tick but what it means here that if you go for just twenty dollars a day within 12 weeks you've got the potential there of having nearly five thousand dollars from there you can roll over now can we achieve twenty dollars per day well here just um here that's on the micro trading just one contract here 63 75 88 it is reality once you learn the setups and provided you trade the strategies according to the rules and that's the hard part believe it or not that is following the rules trading truly is 90% psychology 
okay the setups I use many of them have been around for years yes I might have fine-tuned them and uh, made them in perhaps improve them in some ways but you know like the t25 the old floor trader strategy yes I've added a few things to it but it's been around forever and as Gans Gan famously said there's nothing new under the Sun now what does this mean to you going for just $20 a day now here remember it's one contract we then go and see this well within 12 weeks I've now turned my 400 to 4 grand I can now start trading the big contract where I'm now going instead of $20 a day I'm now after 200 a day 12 weeks from there I have the potential of basically earning 10,000 a week and my account size is gone from 4,000 or 400 24 weeks prior to that up to only $50,000 and remember you only start trading a second a third and a fourth contract each time you increase your account by four thousand dollars now in total it's taken you 24 weeks to get there now I in, in hand on heart I've got to say this that it will take you a little longer because you're not going to start trading a micro a live account until you've mastered the setups on the simulator Okay, so that might take you six eight ten weeks but do it correctly because what actually happens is you're creating what we call muscle memory and if you say I can just keep resetting the balance on my simulator uh, you're going to carry those bad habits over your trade over to your trading just like uh, you'll hear me say in coaching sessions we tend to bring our personal problems over to our trading if you're a gambler if you're perhaps um, uh, short-tempered um, if you're impatient or lack discipline these are things that we need to deal with for you to succeed as a trader but this is the reality now the question is okay how do I do it now if you're trading say the four tick and you are like me where I'm a scalper typically three to four trades a day net after any losses okay now you've got to take your losses off there but you're after the highest probability trades for members watching this we're after the two B's the 34's the 55 the 89's and 200's that's how we get there now what I've also done in this PowerPoint sorry <laughs> in this PowerPoint in this um, uh, this chart series I've actually for the sake of uh, a training session I intend to do for my members I've removed most of the indicators when I actually uh, recorded this or I should should say actually did the recording sorry let me take that back when I did the trading sorry it's been a long night um, uh, I actually uh, did the trading so you'll see there the, the, the charts quite clean but why still use indicators well they're a great confirmation tool okay and I love this here better information in it isn't always about life and death but it sure does give you a competitive advantage okay that's what indicators will allow us to do now couple of things as we get to the charts uh, there's some things we need to consider all of these now will plot or you can have basically plot on your charts automatically if you're a new trader you may not know exactly what is a pivot how does the prior days open high low and close what about the major EMAs what sort of role do they play the current days open high low and close once you have them explained clearly you just start they're really quite straightforward and simple but these are forward indicators why uh, that is most indicators are what we call lagging these are predictive because so many professional traders use them we trade into these and use these as support resistance levels every day and also as targets so what we're going to do now we're going to go to the charts I'm going to go through leading up to this and just describe what exactly uh, I'm looking for now the reason I go into so many details is that yes I want I want you to join me I want you to buy my program I want you to join my live trading sessions I want you to come and join me month in month out in my sessions yes I earn an income from that but I also trade every day now 
what that means to you is the experience I'm giving you is incredible I've been day trading now for 28 years so some of you won't join me but also I'll lose some of you because you'll think I can't do this it's not rocket science it's just a matter of learning the patterns that I'm looking for so let's get to the charts now let's just start with this because this is just before the setups that I actually took here's what we would have been looking at now in this particular case this is 2 a.m. Central Standard Time so this is leading up to the London uh, open and there's some great trading but this is also a very high risk zone why see that black line there that's that's the 200 EMA from an anchor chart uh, see the uh, current days open yesterday's close we can just see how flat we are this is where we need to be extremely cautious traders with our trading because these are real danger zones now what I want to see is a wave in the market we want to see waves I want you to imagine that the market we've got an anchor chart which is a higher time frame is the tide of the ocean the lower time frame what I call my entry chart is the is the wave of the ocean so we want to be surfing in the direction of the overall trade oh, sorry tide I should say I told you there was no editing in these videos now what we can see here is what we call angulation see our price is very strongly angled away now I've got minimal indicators on here and so for existing members you can see here I've really cut them back and this is what we call angulation which is ripe for a reversal so as I scroll along let's now start looking for a potential setup now just here uh, we do have one right there we call that I call that a t2 it's also a t20-1 basically just there now if we had have sold there remember we'd be selling straight down into support now you can do that but you want to get to break even to your entry price mighty fast because there's a good chance you could bounce off that level okay so here we've got another setup but look what's right in front of me and what I teach my traders I actually say to them do we have blue skies ahead what I mean by that um, is it clear <laughs> is it going to be bumpy okay well here I've got a couple of brick walls straight in front of me now I want you to also look at my long-term stochastic for members watching this okay we have a bit of a sell-off here that's good so forget what I was about to say um, I thought we were going to get a t10 set up uh, and just here I still don't have anything well actually we could let's just look at the anchor chart one and I'll explain to everyone exactly what I'm referring to here no I was looking to see if I've got a 2d for members watching this it's only a t19 I'm not really interested in this trade um, uh, but it is a t19 now t19 traders is where I only have uh, divergence on the lowest time frame it's the weakest form of divergence sorry I just coughed so this pulls the video there for a moment so uh, in this particular case I probably would not have taken this trade and you know what I just missed out on a beautiful move now we could have traded for members watching that but t20 but I actually would have missed out on the trade now what I want you to notice here is we're getting a lot of angulation here see how we're moving across and by the way you don't have to be perfect with your trading but one thing you've got to be is consistent okay so for an example you're 34 you're 34 but here we're selling straight into support so as we come up okay what's in front of us and this is where we've got to be checking regularly what's in front of the trade now what I can see above me here I've got a pivot why is that important because I'm always expecting a pivot bounce now we have a very very strong uptrend uh, when you've got a strong uptrend like this we want to be looking for divergence particularly when you've got angulation for members watching this you do have 
just there a, uh, a rule of one trade entry I'm not going to call that as a trade yet so we're coming up where's that pivot now at the pivot expect a bounce okay we nearly will always get a bounce off the pivot at least one bounce now in a very strong trending market you usually punch straight through um, uh, your pivot now just here once again I've got a t19 what do I mean by t19 I've only got divergence on my entry chart I don't have it on my anchor chart too what does that mean trend continuation so traders when you have no divergence on your anchor chart and what I've actually discovered is a little formula between the anchor chart one anchor chart two and your entry chart that you use at different times of the day to get these divergence trades we get what I call these double divergences now this is a trade we could consider um, now because I've got no divergence so members watching this we have no divergence on the anchor chart one we could take this okay so let's um now here of course I'm not in this trade here so up here now I ended up having a 2d now these are trades from a week ago okay I'm way behind I'm recording all of my sessions I, we should be up to session to session 102 I think it is this is session 96 this is a beautiful setup and if I just stuck down here for a moment and we look at this right here this is this one just here you can see my entry just there I had my first entry there another one there and my third one down here so I'll explain these to you so here I've got double divergence look at this divergence here now this is what I call a zero lag MACD so I've had this coded for TradeStation and NinjaTrader if you've got any other trading platform I give you the settings so you can adapt a standard indicator to, um, MACD to model this okay so I want to take this trade so down I went and it's not on this chart here but we're out about here I then had a 13b now what I want you to look at here is do we have blue skies ahead meaning what's in front of the trade well if we look at this here it's all blue skies all the way down to here so if you're going to go for a larger target now's the time to do it if you've say got major EMAs or a pivot in front of you you might want to exit the trade now the concept of scalping is we want to get that cash register ringing as soon as possible so I want to get in get out get paid now if you're trailing you'll find yep you've got the potential to pick up a lot more but um, and that's day trading you can do that I prefer to get in get out wrap my trading up so down we come okay and we're actually out just about here we're out of the trade so if you look at this uh, just going back to that screenshot here you can see there it was we're out well and truly above here um, I laugh a bit when I say this but I'm leaving something on the table for the other guy okay so here once we get to this trade in a moment you'll see there I got out there we were filled on our contracts um, over a couple of candles just here but let's go back to charts here so as we come down I then had another potential entry just there it's another 13b why don't I take that because straight below me and we would have actually made some money out of that and one thing I should just explain to you here with a four tick Renko what that actually means is from the height of a low of the body of these candles that's twenty dollars ignoring the tail so each one of these from the height of low is worth twenty dollars now each step down you can see is worth ten dollars so I'm typically after seven steps but if I can see I've got a major area of support or resistance it becomes what we call a price magnet point so you can then go for a larger target now I then come down here and I've got a bounce okay just here you can see I've found support and remember some of your best divergence trades or reversal trades will come off these areas 
pivots open high low and close etc and I had some divergence here oh and for members watching yes it, yes it was it was a t3 so yes I could have taken that but I wasn't in that one so then we come up we get a bounce why don't I take that short because of this now I'm interested in taking this trade why I've got a double bottom it is a 2d let's take the trade and we saw what happened thereafter so now I've made a new higher high a new uh, higher low we could have taken this trade what are we now looking for next We've got a higher high we're looking for a new higher low what's in front of us we've got the pivot in front of us so we could go and take that pivot so this is not rocket science it's just a matter of rules based trading now let's just for a moment go back to this for a moment where what's happened since we've been chatting here on the uh, RTY on the Russell so we can see since we've been chatting here we've come up we're bouncing surprise surprise at the pivot I also want you to notice the amount of ang angulation you've got a lot of angulation but you've also got divergence see this one down here you've got a lot of what we call divergence just there why is that useful because it's fantastic when it comes to confirming a potential reversal now I don't have it set up here but what I'd now be looking at what's my anchor chart telling me because remember I want to be trading in the direction of the higher time frame now you would have uh, here you would have just uh, if you're trading here you could have picked up uh, two days of profit just here over the last what's that one and a half hours so you can see the arrow so members watching that that's the one two one okay so there's my hull now where I use the hull traders is to confirm reversals so if I'm uncertain about a referral oh uh, re reversal I should say referral reversal uh, I usually have that on my anchor chart one rather than the entry but it can be a really nice confirmation tool see you've got here you got what we call the rule of one you've got the rule of one here see your Renko tails okay really it's that makes a really nice confirmation tool as does trading in the direction of the cloud so traders look there's so much we could cover uh, in these sessions and sorry let me just stop sorry about that I just pause it so I could pull the PowerPoint back up so as I mentioned this is not rocket science it's a matter of learning these trades now if you're a brand new trader you want to be trading in the direction follow the goal that's what you want to be doing as you develop your skill set we're looking for golden reversals and all of these are patterns so try to as we finish up so we are 33 34 minutes this PowerPoint come and join me come and join me in the coaching sessions uh, where I'll teach you how to day trade uh, how long does it take you give yourself at 90 to 180 days and that's one thing too I just should mention how long realistically does it take before you're really trading and making money well it really comes down to the trader okay I've been trading for as I mentioned over 28 years now so naturally I've got an advantage over 95 99% of the traders out there but what I do trade a pattern based trades we think uh, um, and we learn in patterns this ain't rocket science okay but you do need to allow that 90 to 180 days now that's nothing time's gonna pass anyway so come and join me traders so uh, I look forward to seeing you in our coaching classes uh, what else was I gonna say no that's it all right traders thank you bye